I knew something like this would happen, guys. The day that the PS4 update comes out, the weekly reset, the Tuesday, one week before the Rise of Iron comes out, private matches become live, and that is awesome. I'm so excited. So let's let's go right into this. This is going to be a menu overview. I want to show you what it is, how to get to it, how you guys can do stuff, all the options you guys can change. Without further ado, let us go. So in order to access this, you're going to want to go to Orbit, go to the Crucible, and then directly below in the dead center, it says Private Match or Competitive Multiplayer. 1 to 12 players, PS Plus required, obviously. But then you go in here, and here's the screen. It says you have no clan affiliation. Unless you're in a clan, then you can set that up. There's going to be more, like, competitive stuff. I know that MLG, or Major League Gaming, was doing a, like, actual competitive tournament today it was more of a kind of trial run to see if this would work and it actually does so we're gonna see mlg destiny in the upcoming future which is awesome but uh, enough about that guys what you're excited about is this so we're gonna go straight into the game options and we will see that we have game type map score limit time limit light level and time of day so game type we have three pages i'm gonna read through all of them just because we got control clash rift skirmish elimination rumble salvage Zone Control, Inferno Clash, Inferno Control, Inferno Rumble, Inferno Saturday, Mayhem Clash, Mayhem Rumble. There's so many game modes. You could do literally anything you want. Now, this is the part that I have been so excited for since, oh gosh, that video when I said what I'd like to see in the Rise of Iron, it's here and it's early. Maps. Here we go. We have the Anomaly, which I haven't played in forever. These are every single map ever. This is year one all the way up until now, and this isn't even, like, there's more to come. So we have the Anomaly. This is one of the very first maps. Oh, God, these are amazing. We have Asylum. We have Bannerfall, Bastion. Bastion was one where you can actually get you can get skips, and you can use your sparrows to fly around the map. That's really cool. This was a year one map as well. We have Black Shield. Everybody knows that. Blind Watch, Burning Shrine. Now, on to the next page. We have Cathedral of Dusk, Cauldron Crossroad. Oops, excuse me. Cauldron, which we haven't played in a very long time. That is... Been out of rotation for quite some time now. Crossroads, The Drifter, The Dungeons, Exodus Blue, Firebase Delphi, and all these are so cool because you can change the time of day, which is amazing. So you can have it, if you actually go over here, you can see that you have morning, afternoon, and night, and more, uh, afternoon is the default, so you can play when the sun's rising, the sun's setting, it's dark out. But anyway, back to what we were talking about. We have our third page, We have which is First Light. This was the original map. Oh my god, this was in the beta. This map, I've played so much. Holy crap. This is when, before shotguns were a big thing, when everybody used ARs and hand cans and all sorts of stuff like that. You can use sparrows. There's all sorts of stuff to get around. It is an absolutely massive map, but it is a fantastic map at that. Um, Frontier, which is pretty much common these days. Memento, Pantheon, Rusted Lands, Sexer 618, Shores of Time, and on to the next page. We have Skyshock, which was in the alpha, like, I, the alpha, this was one of the first maps ever. Like, in the, this is another one of those massive maps, but this is such a good map. I love Skyshock. I'm going to do a map overview of every single one of these maps that you guys haven't seen, all the year one maps in, some, uh, in the upcoming weeks here, right before the Rise of Iron. But anyways, Skyshock, Thieves' Den, Timekeeper, Twilight Gap, Timekeeper, this was the first ever the first ever trials of osiris map which is oh my god it's so amazing timekeeper twilight gap vertigo and of course widow's court now there's so many there's one two three four five six times oh no excuse me there's how many on a page there's eight no seven on a page so seven times three would be 21 plus six more it's 27 so there's 27 maps oh my god Score limit, all the way from 2,500 all the way up until 300. That's awesome. Time limit, that's so badass. We go all the way up to 30 minutes. There's no unlimited, but that's okay. Light level, so you can do Iron Banner style gameplay if you want. And, of course, the time of day. Now, this is, oh, boys, I hope you're as excited about this as I am. You can also switch teams in the top right corner. You see here, it says switch teams. You can go from alpha to, uh, not alpha, but alpha to, I don't know. It's not, it's not alpha, but a beta. It's something else. But you can go like that, and you go to your game options. It doesn't change the color of this at all. But look at that, guys. We got all these game types. So many of them. All the, and the music is different, too. I just realized that. But there you go, boys. I hope you're excited as I am, guys. I really hope to see... And I'm not... I'm really curious to see what MLG and Destiny will do working together to see what we're going to have. Because Bungie was the original MLG. That was like the original Halo 
Oh my god, this is this is nostalgia trip right now guys. I hope you all did enjoy the video If you did show it some love in the comments below and guys, we will see you in the next one